Now, 11-year-old Andrew Dane is here to talk to us about his One Lads Challenge to visit over 1,000 fire stations across the country to raise money for the firefighters' charity and also to raise awareness for autism. And he joins me now in the studio. Well, hi, Andrew. Thank you so much for coming in. So tell me about what you've been doing then. What have you been up to? So I'm trying to visit every fire station in the UK, um, as you said, raising awareness about autism and raising money for the firefighters' charity. We've raised about two th almost £2,000 for the firefighters charity and that helps firefighters who are in need. So, like, if they've had a crash or if they've hurt themselves while in the line of duty, the firefighters charity will help them out, like, take them to a rehab rehabilitation centre to, like, help them up and, like, sort out their body if they've hurt it. Well, that's absolutely amazing, and you're just 11 years old, and you're doing all of that. Well, I mean, why, why, why did you decide to do this in the first place? Then, I mean, most 11-year-olds are playing video games or something, and you're here raising all this money. We don't actually know why I started. <laughs> we think it's because my birthday is on the 5th of November, but ever since I became eight, I just wanted <laughs> to go to the fire stations. Since you were eight, so do you want to be a fireman? Is that yeah. your aim? <laughs> and what's your favourite fire station that, that you visited then, do you My think? My favourite fire station is Wensbury. And why is that? It's in West Midlands and they gave me a longboard. <laughs> so it's your favourite because they gave you a present? Yeah. Well, that sounds about right to me. <laughs> so what, what's the next step for you then? So we'll... Um, it's just trying to get all 2,300 fire stations in. Mm -hmm. um, How far along are you? We're about, we're at 1,010. Right. So our aim is 2,650-odd. <laughs> um, to do all of them, we want to do all of them. And as it goes, what we need to is we need to try and raise more and more money for the firehood charity because it's going to a good cause. And how much have you raised so far? We've raised about £2,000. And how does it kind of make you feel then when you kind of sit back and you think, wow, I'm 11 years old and I've raised over £2,000? makes me feel happy because I'm raising money for people that need help. And talk to me about the autism side of it then. You mentioned you're, you're trying to raise, raise awareness. With autism, um, I'm autistic and most people think, oh, with autism, it means you can't do much. Mm. But and then we're trying to say, look, I'm doing this, because most autistic people and everyone think, oh, no, they can't do much. But actually, they they can actually do more than everyone else, because they're like, they can just do more because of their their brains wired like differently. That's what that makes the autism. Wow, and well, you're definitely showing that, I think. So, you want to be a firefighter? Yeah. So what qualities do you think you need to have to be a firefighter? Do you think you've got them? Yeah, you've <laughs> got to be kind. You've got to, like, help people in your community. You've got to be <coughs> fit, and you've got to be really helpful and strong. And have you met a, a one specific fireman that, that's, you know, given you some tips on how to get into the industry here. You have. Well, tell me a bit about that. All the firefighters, you just say, to be a good firefighter, you have to be this, this and this. And then, usually, they've got to say, you've got to be quick under pressure. Like, if you're one of the managers on the truck, you've got to be quick. You've got to um, be really quick at doing stuff to save people's lives in the firefighting world. And how many people have you kind of met along the way then? Have you done a lot of different things or has your main focus been on the, on the raising money? Um, the main focus has been meeting all the firefighters and then meeting the firefighters and raising money. And on some of those stations we have been, um, we have seen some of the firefighters that have been through the charity. Wow, well, I think what you've been doing, Andrew, is absolutely amazing, and I think you should be really proud of yourself, and I'm sure everyone who's watching is really proud of you as well. Thank you very much for coming in, Andrew. Thank That's you. all we have time for now, though. Thanks.